It's Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. Today we're going to learn some clip masking techniques in Illustrator. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hi, welcome. Uh, today we're going to learn some really cool clip masking clip masking techniques and basically what it means is is that we're going to take um, a photo or an image or some kind of background um, object and we're actually going to place it within another object uh, creating uh, even more cooler and more awesomer effects in a, Adobe Illustrator I know awesomer is a word right so in order to do this what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and create a new artboard control N all right and uh, here we go. Remember, we're using Adobe Illustrator 2017. All right. Uh, I've been playing around with uh, some of my cool YouTube stuff, so I actually have it uh, in the YouTube area where it's uh, 2560 by 1440 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and use that because it's a great little uh, area to use. All right. So here we are with our artboard. All right. So I'm going to show you some really cool basic and maybe even a little bit more slightly advanced techniques here in Adobe Illustrator for clip masking. Now, uh, a lot of times you're going to use clip masking when you're making, say, a menu. All right. So we're going to try that a little bit here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place a picture on my artboard. Okay. So file, place. I'm going to go where I put my cool pictures which is right here. I'm going to take my first one. I'm going to take this restaurant one here. It has this really cool art, all right, of a little plate of cool little food. Looks delicious, doesn't it? All right, but we're going to want to focus it a little more, a bit more, make it look pretty cool, okay? The only way to do that is to, let's make it a little smaller, put it in here. But we want to focus it, okay? So a lot of this has to do with layers. Okay, where in Adobe Illustrator is this object? When I look at my layers, all right, which is this right here, you're going to see in this layer is this linked uh, picture. Okay, you can do clip masking with linked or embedded objects. Right now, we're going to go ahead and just do a linked object. Okay, and uh, it's right here. Next thing I want to do is create the object I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and create a circle. Okay. Take a circle. I'm going to hold the shift key and make it a perfect little circle. Perfect little circle right above it. Okay. To make this a little easier, I may even re take out the center so we can see what the circle is going to be encircling. Well, it's going to be encircling this really cool, obviously, this food. Okay. So if you notice, the circle right, is right here, okay, uh, which is basically right here, as you can tell, all right, and obviously the photo is right below it, right here, all right, and it's very important when you're doing clip mask. The, the, uh, the shape needs to be on the top layer, and the actual um, photo or image or object needs to be below it, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select both the layers. I can select them by either selecting them both, clicking and dragging and selecting them both, or I can do it up above here too and select them both in the actual layers panel. All right. Once I do that and I know that the circle is above and the object is below, I use Control-7 or make clip mask. Okay, Control-7 makes the clip mask as you noticed now the circle is there on the artboard when I circle around you can still kind of see that there's a embedded object below it all right but from the naked eye you can see now that I have it and I can even start making a menu from it you know uh, creating really cool imagery and stuff a lot of a lot of uh, menus all across the world use this very technique. Uh, a lot of menus have a lot of text, and as we know, Illustrator uses text really well. 
and to be able to add these amazing images with it uh, really just makes uh, for an all for an easier time doing it all right so now I did that but this is pretty simple all right it's pretty simple we can do a little better than this right you notice when I released the clipping mask by right clicking let me undo that and do that again I released it you can take it by right clicking and you'll see right here there's a button release clip mask so I'm gonna go ahead and release it you notice though when I release it the circle disappears that's because it takes off the outlines uh, when you do the clip mask, it takes out any outlines or any solids that you have so we can put that right back on it so we can see it okay we know though when we clip mask again it'll come right back on <coughs> all right so we've got this really cool object but we can do a little better than this right we can make this a little bit easier a little bit not easier but a little bit more dynamic what if we wanted to go ahead and select this whole area right here you could do that right right make it a little uh, kind of overly shaped I can take them both control 7 now if you don't know in order to make it so that it's always the same size we always hold the shift key all right but you don't necessarily have to I could literally using clip masking techniques make it a circle now obviously that looks horrible but you can see that it's it's actually adjusting the object um, from the shape itself and not necessary for the picture okay so we've got that all right and I can add all sorts of cool techniques I can go into my um, appearance panel as you see and I can go down to the FX and add a drop shadow right just a simple drop shadow boom as you can see now we have this very simple drop shadow below it I can even adjust the drop shadow right wait let me make sure I'm selecting right haha <laughs> let's adjust this drop shadow let's offset it just a tad more Whee! I'm really off centering it aren't I? <laughs> this is fun oh you can't even see what I'm doing hold on there it is look negative 15 negative 17 making the drop shadow a little bit bigger adding a little bit more blur to it look at that beautiful beautiful work right okay so very common technique when it comes to building this kind of stuff right but let's do it even a little better let's release this clipping mask and try one more other technique if you notice though that the uh, the circle uh, made the actual outline disappear I'm gonna go ahead and add it again so we can see it all right I've got that outline in there again so let's try one more thing what if I were to make it a different shape all right so if I were to actually add some shapes to it what if I wanted to add the hand to it make another circle around the hand all right um, and I wanted to go ahead and add uh, I like the hand but what if I also wanted to add the bread so I'm gonna make a circle around the bread all right well I can now take all these objects let me look at this uh, layers panel so you can see it I now have three ellipses three circles one two three all right but we can go in the Pathfinder Windows Pathfinder all right and I can instantly combine them all into one shape all right so we got this one really interesting shape that's going around all the objects we see that right now I can if you look in the layers panel you'll see that it's now one path right right above the image now I've selected the path I have selected the uh, the object we can do it right here again too once I've done that I press control 7 again and boom I now have this another dynamic object right here that is now we selected and uh, created this uh, new thing using clipping mask 
uh, to create more interesting uh, and stuff you can do with a ton of different shapes and a ton of different areas. There's one more technique I want to show you. Oh, I know I haven't blown your mind enough. Let me blow your mind one more time. Okay. We're going to now. Oh, don't want to delete both, do I? <laughs> I just want to delete the object. Okay. What if I wanted to clip mask uh, different areas in here? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go just for the plates, but I also wanted to create some cool effects and I wanted to do some cool object bubbles above it. Okay. So I've got these cool object bubbles above it. All right. But if you notice, I'm object bubbling right above the actual uh, picture itself. So I can now select all of these, all of the little objects, all of the little areas, okay? Right? You see the little thing? I'm selecting them all, okay? Once I select them all, I'm going to do a magic thing called Control-8. Control-8, not just clip mask, it combines. I want to combine these shapes into one shape. Okay, so I'm going to press Control-8, Control-8. Now I've combined them in one shape. Look at my layers panel. They're now one shape, okay? Now that they're one shape, I can take these objects, select the image in the background, press Control-7 again, clip mask the object, you know, the, the, the cool shape that we made to the object below it. And now we have a really dynamic path object to create nuanced things for your art, for your menus that you might be creating in the future and whatever else that you might have. Okay. Um, one thing that you want to keep in mind um, is, is that uh, obviously sometimes you're going to want to create, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Outlines around all of this. I do want you to keep in mind that obviously now this object's kind of embedded and as soon as I take it out, I don't want to release it and combine it. Ugh, it's a lot of work. But if what I want to do is copy paste, release the clipping mask, okay? I now have the exact same shape. Look at that. Now I can add that stroke. Let's go ahead and make a cool red stroke. Add a, make it a little thicker, put it right above it. And now I have a cool outline that I can mess with and adjust directly over this object. Okay. So, got this cool thing. Let's make it even thicker. Put it right above the object. It's done. All right. Well, this uh, concludes this particular uh, Blow Your Mind series to show uh, how cool clipping masking is in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you subscribe to me and learn a little bit more about all these really cool techniques within Adobe Illustrator because it's fun for me and hopefully it's fun for you as well. All right? See you next time on Blow Your Mind Learning. Bye-bye.